Hello. Hi. My name is Julia. And I am a producer, digital info product producer. I create digital products. Today, I want to teach you how to create your first info product. If you are here because you searched digital products and you saw all those flashy thumb thumbnails, I want you to ask yourself this very important question before we begin. Do you want long-term results? Do you want short-term results? Because here, what I do is long-term. I have a strategy for everything. I have systems. I have processes. I want to generate for you, for me, for my experts, for my students, long-term results. I'll take you from making your first sale to building a real business. And that's the process that I'm going to teach you, how you can replicate something like that. How you, how you can replicate taking somebody that doesn't know anything about anything <laughs> in your industry and offering them the knowledge necessary to create results. That's the first step, self-commitment. Are you committed to your work, to results, to transformations of your students? Are you committed to giving your best, to making mistakes so you can do better next time, so you can launch better next time? To give you a little bit of background on how I got here, okay? Not gonna talk my entire story right now because you're not interested in it, but I want to tell you how I've learned all of these things, right? The first contact I had with this was actually with Brazilian players. And players is a term that we use to describe the experts that teach something in an in industry. He, this person, Erico Rocha, he took the launch formula from Jeff Walker from the US to Brazil, okay? And in Brazil, it took an almost like a reverse black swan thing. It took a disproportional growth. It just boomed. And now we have a lot of experts in different industries, people doing co-production, meaning there is an expert who doesn't understand strategy and there is a person doing the production, which is what I do. I do the production of the product. <laughs> a little bit of a cacophony there. Now, I'm the one I've taken upon myself to bring all that development to something that was created essentially internationally from a country because you're not going to have access to any of that because it's in Portuguese and there's a big likelihood you don't speak Portuguese. <laughs> so I took upon myself to take that knowledge, to test it on me, to pass to my students, to test on my, to test, to use, to take, use it as a tool, right? I don't want to say advantage of, but use it as a tool, my experts, on me, on my students, on my other businesses, and develop new strategies and pass it on to people. That's why you are here. If that's not in your interest, if you just want quick money, go somewhere else, because this is not a lottery, this is for people wanting to build. Build. My hand wasn't in the frame, God damn it. <laughs> so now, for the second step, in a way, first step is to committing to yourself, to your work, to your students, future students, to your transformation, to their transformation, not just your transformation, but their transformation. And I want you now how I have to read, because I want you to grab a pen and a paper and I want you to answer these questions right now. What are the steps 
your clients and students will have to take to achieve a transformation. So for you is to make your first sale. How can I take you from point A to point B? How can your customers, maybe you are a, think of an industry fast. <laughs> maybe you are a, I don't know, you make jewelry and you want to teach people how to make their own jewelry. What do they have to do? What's the point? What's the first step they have to take? And I want you to map that out. Point A and all the little steps in between until they get to point B, which is a transformation. This is a journey. It's a very important thing to map out and you will see soon why. And how do you, as an expert, how, and your own producer as well, because all my students or people, before they work as an expert for me, they, they are my students essentially, they have to start from somewhere. Producing with a strategy, a strategist, with a team, it's not cheap. So I want to give people the tools to start by themselves. I want them to sit on my table someday. How do you, as an expert and your own producer, how do you need to separate this step by step? How can you make it simple? How can you make it, how can you make it make sense for people to go from A to B? That's a very important question. It's a simple question, but it's not easy to answer. So take your time, pause the video and answer that. Then you have to research. You have to research. You have to use your competition. Kind of a bad way to say it, but use in the sense that hear the echo what are people talking about? What are the real needs? What transformations are already being filled? What kind of problems and issues are do you do you as an expert see a lot of issues in your industry? Because I do. I do. That's why I'm doing this video. All you have to do is type digital products on YouTube and there's a big likelihood you ended in this video because you did that. And I see a lot of issues. That will be the first step for you to start understanding how to package your product, understanding the pricing range, understanding what offer to make. And we're going to talk about exactly formats and how to separate that knowledge because there's going to be multiple levels and tiers of knowledge. There's going to be people at their starting point. There's going to be people at an intermediary point. There's going to be people at a more advanced stage. For example, these will be the people who are already gaining results. They are at a more high level to sit on my table. Right? So I know, and I'm going to show you exactly how I divide my own product, my own product belt. We call it product belt, your selection of offers. I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm going to show you my Notion dashboard. There are a few tools that you can use as well to just understand what people are searching and researching. Any SEO keyword planner research, for example, the Facebook audience insights, the Google keyword planner, a, um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uber suggest, Neil Patel, Uber suggest. So once you identify these things, I want you to also, and I almost forgot to say it, I want you to map out your brand. And I don't want you to feel the anxiety of having a logo, uh, colors, and all of those complicated things. All you need is to map out your personality because here we are talking about experts. We're talking people that go out there and talk about what they are passionate. 
people that are challenging themselves, people that are putting themselves out there. If this is not your style, it's okay. Maybe you are more of a producer style, right? You like to be behind the scenes. You're not an expert style. You might be an expert, but you don't want to be the expert, the player expert. You want to work behind the scenes, and that's completely fine. But I want you to map out your voice, how, you, how do you speak. I can be very, if you know me personally, you know I'm very surgical. Surgical? Surgical. I'm very crude, not rude, but crude. Very direct, I'm very clear. Years of living in Finland does that to you. you I'm very direct with what I want to say. I'm not going to beat around the bushes, but, but I'm still Brazilian and I still have a silly side. You might see here as well, here and there. I like to use funny words. I like to make funny voices. I like to make funny faces. What clothes would you like to use? What kind of image, what kind of perception do you want people to have of you? Because that... When people tell me, but there's people already doing and saying the things that I want to talk about. I'm just going to be another one. No, because you haven't mapped out your voice. You don't understand who you are yet. Deeply. You don't understand what you bring to the table. And on my table, only sits people that understand that. Because the only people that understand that get to get there. Get to get there, you know? Map out the style of clothing you want. I love, I love gym clothing, but that's not something very professional. So what I do, well, as part of my narrative, a narrative is a strategic thing that we'll talk about maybe on the video. Narrative, my narrative is showing when I work out because that's something that I do. So I show that on my story. So that's part of my narrative. It's part of the connection that I want to build with people. It's part of a basic knowledge that I also give out to people to take care of themselves. So once you start mapping all of these things, the colors that you like, the style of hair that you want to have, the kind of voice you have naturally, you can start fine tuning your personal brand. And eventually, you're going to join one of my courses and you're going to do a logo in five minutes that you're going to use for a while until you can get somebody to design things in your team. But stop wanting everything to be perfect. Just your focus, the goal, the point B right now is to get you to get that one sale. So I need you to understand the basics. And then there is pre Copywriting. Copywriting is the art of persuasion with words. It's an, we need to understand certain elements to create copywriting that is engaging, that is persuasive. <laughs> it's not manipulative because manipulation is not an exchange. Persuasion is an exchange. We want, we need that exchange. Pre-copy for short. It's something that I de develop out of need, out of doing it so many times that I'm like, okay, I need to organize this process so that when, before I start copying, copying, copywriting, before I start writing, I never miss those important elements. So, so there are seven elements, goals, pains, problems, dreams, objections, rewards, and transformation. They are all interlocked in each other and they are kind of like a... Mm, they are kind of like a mesh, like a chain mail of things. They are all interlocked with each other. And I want you to write down the answer. Not going to be a question, but I want you to get ideas and write them down right now as I explain what each of these seven are, okay? Prepare yourself. Pause if you need to, to grab pen and water. Goals are what people want done. The goal for you is to make one sale. You want to create a product, 
make sales. I stipulated that for your first product, because there is a reason behind that, management of expectations, and to teach you to do the right things before you think you're gonna make thousands in sales. You, as an expert, you know why people can reach a certain goal. Lose weight. Maybe they have a headache and they take ibuprofen. When you, as an osteopath or a physiotherapist, you know that they might have a little crooked back. They need to do a certain stretch. I don't know. It's not ibuprofen that is the real solution, right? You as an expert, you know how to identify from their goal the real problems. The cause, the cause and the goal, they are connected. The cause for the problem and the goal, they are connected. If the goal is to leave pain free, what is the problem? What are the things that are stones on their path? There are obstacles in their path. What do they think is the problem, but isn't, in fact, the real problem? It's not that the ibuprofen doesn't work, it's that they are trying to quench a pain that it's, I hit the mic. Good job. What is the problem and the real problem? So if somebody tells me, but Julia, I'm so lazy. I can't do all of this. So much work. The problem is not that they are lazy. They are just not organized. They don't have the systems and the processes and the things that will eliminate the friction for the next step. You have to eliminate the friction. You need to learn to spot the pain and the problem and the objections. Objections is usually related to resources. So time are usually related to resources. Time, money, tools, skills, platforms, I don't have time to do this. If you organize your day, if you organize your tasks, if you go to the launch pad and you get all, if you go to the no excuse bootcamp and you get all the step by step and you spend five days of your days, don't you think you're gonna move forward? So that's filling the spot between A and B, right? Their starting point, and the transformation, the transformation is understanding that they can actually become even better after the first sale. Is understanding that while well, you can become better before the first sale. It's understanding that they can do more. It's understanding that not only can they lose 10 kilos, but they can also put on weight, <laughs> muscle weight. <laughs> That didn't make sense. <laughs> oh my God, my brain. They can put on muscle weight. Not only can they lose fat, they can also put on muscle and get more toned. It's understanding that they can have a better lifestyle, healthier lifestyle. And that would be a dream. Be fit. I want to be fit. I want to be like hot. I want to have geographical freedom and financial freedom, which is why if you are here, there's a big likelihood that's one of your dreams. Work from anywhere, have an asynchronous team, meaning that people that work remotely at any time zone, get the job done either way. What is your persona's dream? What are your dreams? Start with your dreams. Because then you will have something for people to connect with. Do this. Do this. Experiment. Looking back at your story, 
write down all the milestones of your pro of your process of your story write them all down how you started and how you got where you are your a b and then see how does how does that overlap with what you were trying to do there's gonna be an overlap god damn what are some of the rewards have money to buy whatever they want and whatever time they want have the ability to travel at any time not having to look at the price of things that's a reward that's a reward i want that's a reward you probably want it's not a promise a product promise it's not a product promise it's a narrative promise it's a narrative it's part of your narrative so come here player come here come here do you get the dna do you get the dna do you understand that do you understand it rewind the video <clears throat> do not lose your voice on the process jesus christ rewind the video listen to it over and over again try to understand people study a little bit of psychology there is a great playlist here on youtube called human behavior 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 ra 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 evolution stanford human behavior stanford search for that watch the first four videos you don't need to watch the entire thing because it gets very technical <clears throat> understand the fourth the four well i think it's four or five videos take notes study it remember read persuasion by robert cialdini understand people write your narrative this is the foundation for this to work for you in the long term now we need to start talking about format format and how people learn and how you can effectively practically take them from point a to point b i don't know if you're familiar with a thing called hero's journey but for us we have a simplified hero's journey and this process is very much based on it the hero's journey the original the movie the screenwriting hero's journey not the copywriting but the screenwriting has about 12 steps we're gonna use three or four depending on what funnel you're applying it to but for format funnel for the pyramid I like to use a pyramid image because the bottom is a base, right? The, the base of the pyramid is the wide one. And that's the pyramid of learning, how people learn. Not sales, but how people learn. How the beginning of the journey, they need a certain format of product and a certain approach versus the end of the journey if you sat on my table on my mentorship table you wouldn't know what to ask because you are at the start of the journey you would not know what to ask me because you wouldn't have the foundational structure you wouldn't have the base in the middle of the pyramid ready the big mistake people make is wanting to get a mentor right away that's not gonna help you if you've not done the basics if you do not understand the basics forget about it get a coach get spend read books that's one format so the base of the pyramid you have i'm gonna show you my product belt as well but the base of the pyramid is from zero to about five hundred dollars and the top offer so the 500 ish is where there is a turn of the key for the students it's why you have to give them a turn of the key so they can go to the next level so at the bottom the very base of the pyramid you would have ebooks memberships mini courses mini trainings very basic knowledge very basic very base foundational knowledge so start thinking now that you've mapped out the knowledge, all those things are mapped out, or they should be, eventually, you will identify, oh, so for my students, they need to learn, they need to understand, 
that in order to launch a product, they need to find a format, meta. They need to create content that makes sense, that have a narrative that take their audience from a certain level of awareness to another level of awareness. I'm not gonna talk about this now. And I have plenty of content about this on my Instagram too. They have, that's foundational knowledge. What I'm passing on to you now, it's foundational knowledge. It's something that is like, it's like breathing for the more advanced students. They don't even think about it anymore. They already understand it. It's already part of the DNA, okay? So, Step two, or base, middle of the pyramid. Middle of the pyramid is where you have the methods, the formulas, the more in-depth trainings. And that goes, some people put the ticket a bit higher, some people put it a bit lower. I like to put, actually, let me take a look at where I like to put it. Let me look at my product belt overview here real quick. I like to put a 2K, so from 500 to 2K. And you can have mentorships there, and those mentorships are the ones that are the turn of the key. They are the, I call them tra transition, transaction, transitional, that's the word. I call them transitional products. People that already went to my Pagani class, now they go through the Freedom app, which is not launched yet. Eventually they join the Freedom app. And now that they've got results, they're able to go and get my group mentorship. Or they go into one of the thematic mentorships because they have a punctual problem they know how to identify already. They are not falling in the middle of my content that is super jumbled, if it was, and not understanding what problem they're solving and getting frustrated with it. Then you have the top of the pyramid, which you already understood by now, I hope. It's where you have the more advanced products. It's where you offer your services. A lot of people start with services, but then they ignore the entire rest. If somebody's not ready for your service, do you have something to offer to them that they can apply themselves, that they can solve that problem? If they come and talk to you about, well, I just need this one thing done, why don't you have a course for them to DIY it? Listen, if this is your problem, I identified you are not gonna be really taking advantage of the service that way since you cannot afford it, but I have something that you can afford and you can very easily apply it yourself. It's a new thing that I've developed and I guarantee result to you. And if you don't like it, I have a 30, 30 day money back guarantee. So you really have nothing to lose. That will be a transformation. That will be a pain that you are solving for somebody who thinks they are at the top of the pyramid, the learning pyramid, but they are at the bottom, or they are in the middle. So you have to guarantee that they get the foundational content. And when you do that, if you offer, if your power offers a service, my power offer is called production. And there's not gonna be that many people up there. That's why it's a pyramid, right? There's not gonna be that many people up there. But I don't lose the client. I create the relationship. I keep the narrative going. And, and for students, and this is something, this alone will be worth it, will be worth this entire video, in my opinion. This is something I should not even say here, but I'm going to. This was my big turn of key. This was my big like aha moment. It is so incredibly hard, for example, to one of the professionals that I have difficulty finding 
not only they have to speak English because everything is in English that I do, but they need, for example, designers that need to un that they understand specifically this that I'm teaching you. They need to understand copywriting. They need to understand the marketing. How? Because it will cost them. It will cost for me to train these people. And this is a lean business model. What was my big turn of key? Well, why don't I offer everything that I have in form of in different formats that we've spoken about? Train these people and work with with them as freelancers. I don't have to hire them necessarily unless they want unless they realize they don't want to be experts. It can be that somebody that is going through my product belt willingly stops in the middle of the product belt because they simply don't want to do it. They have that choice. They have the choice to want to stay in backstage. They have the choice to know want to sit in front of the camera and talk. But they have the opportunity to be part of projects. And so you create a community around your middle tier, your the, the middle of the pyramid, you tie that up. And then people that go to the top of the pyramid who are also part of the middle of the pyramid can also hire these people. Nobody loses. Unless people that give up. Then it's their loss, not yours. <laughs> Do you, did you get that DNA? Did you understand that fire? Is the scheme burning? Are you still sitting on your chair? I almost said desk. You don't sit on the desk. I hope not. I shouldn't even say this here, but anyway, whatever, I, I did. I'm gonna post it anyway. Let's take a look at my product belt. I'm gonna put an image here of it and talk, well, I'm gonna look at it as well. So, excuse me that I'm not looking at the camera. You have the tier one products and it's normal because the base is wider, it's normal to have more. Do you see how this is also a funnel? And do you see how I have both transitional, all the transitional, tran why do I keep saying, why, why can I English? <laughs> transitional products in both tiers, in all the elements. I actually put a fourth tier here because I put the the table and the co-production. This table is a bit too cheap, but whatever. Tier one, I have the YouTube Pagani class, which is my Telegram group, and it's down there in the description always. If you want to join, there is a new lesson every Monday. Then you have my Instagram content. And I'm showing you things that haven't been released yet. They are under production. I have a priority order for launches and things that go into production. They are launched, then they go out from availability. That's a strategy as well. If you read Launch, the book by Jeff Walker, the guy we talked about, you will learn the basics of it. <clears throat> but there's more. There's a lot of strategies which you would learn in the launch pad. The launch pad is a more hands-on approach. It's something that you will learn by doing because this is all learning by doing, man. There is nothing here that you're gonna learn by reading only. You're gonna read books, you're gonna get better at copywriting, but that's not gonna make you a good copywriter. Then you have the no excuse bootcamp that I have to up the price because I already realized this should be at a more advanced tran transitional phase, which means I'm going to have to create simplified versions of it in a way. The no excuse bootcamp is a checklist, a step by step. Everything is very executional. Okay. The base product. So the YouTube, the Pagani class, the Pagani flicks, they are more conceptual. They are to understand elements. They are to learn about the mindset. They are to learn, they are, they are to learn. They are meant for you to learn 
things that you're gonna find anywhere else really and then you have the 4060 which will be my productivity class everything that i've learned from running physical businesses remotely which is now a hybrid business because you know digital strategies here then you have the freedom app and the 4060 is not a transitional product so it's not priced at a transitional level there is still a open wallet product that we call it for people to be able to execute everything else they need to go through the 4060 they need to understand productivity they need to have a system that's where you're gonna learn it that's an element from my narrative that's an, ele an element from the method from the transformation as well the big transformation the a to b that people need to fine-tune that's the word then you have the freedom app which is a big course transitional a lot of content and those transitional products they are leveling products you're gonna level the guy who's intermediate because it's also an intimate product product you're gonna bring this guy and the guy who's a beginner to the same level that's why they are transitional you're gonna have to close the gap between these two so that they can go the infinite product method as well which is a method creation method is where i talk about in the launch pad you have an overview of it because it is a foundational thing that you need to learn so you won't dominate it but it will have the basics when i told you to get started with your branding it's almost like that that's actually a good course for me to launch so once you level your students you have the tier two which i don't have a name for the mentorship yet you can see it repeats the freedom app infinite product the i i usually go like tfm ipm because it's shorter i like names that you can create acronyms because then when you are organizing your tasks you can use the acronyms of the product and internally people it's it's better for productivity well that's whatever i'm creating a mentorship that it's thematic it's for everybody so it's a group of people that are at a certain level to strategically plan their product belt i haven't launched yet i don't have a name for it yet it's even in portuguese because i write everything in portuguese and then i translate it because my vocabulary for this is in portuguese and then you have the area of business which is a mentorship also in group but it's a little it's a little less thematic area business meaning foundational things you need to know so you can work from anywhere so you can run your team from anywhere how do you do this practically and then i go and look at the students i answer their questions their pun punctual questions i look at their businesses and i analyze it and that one is also a leveling product because once they get to that understanding so they already have the foundation of productivity but they might have like a bucket with holes i'm gonna close those holes <laughs> then you have the digital passport and the digital passport is a one-on-one -on -one mentorship i sit with that with that person and i go through the entire business their product belt their marketing that's why it's it's actually even a bit cheaper than it should be for now and that's it i could even it should be honestly it should be a transitional why do i say it wrong every time transitional <laughs> transitional offer but it isn't and there is a strategic reason for this it should be more expensive it should be 
and that and that's the unnatural gap that exists in the industry which i'm not going to go into but you will identify probably th these two so know that you might have transformation gaps with your students and that's one of them because the person that makes 10k 50k with a digital passport they can sit on the table so it's not it's a big leap it's a three time leap so from 10 to 50 is actually a five time leap but in terms of in depth the depth of the content of the product um, abstract <laughs> and then we have the table which is for which is a mastermind it's not a mentorship i wrote that wrong um you're probably seeing the right thing because i'm fixing that master mind that as i evolve in the market as i grow that mastermind will also be more expensive because the players i grow the players will grow the other players will grow the co-production is also going to probably become more expensive or it's going to level with the mastermind because the people that are doing co-production they are the same level as the people from the mastermind from the table so that's an overview of my product belt that's what you should aim that should be one of your goals to create something similar for you and i guarantee that no matter what niche you are in you can create something like this whether it's going to be a service a physical product a experience an event a workshop a big workshop a big convention you're going to create a convention the pricing structure would be different because then you're ticketing it's a different sort of approach but there is a hundred percent chance that you can create something like this i'm gonna leave a resume of this lesson for you to download if you want to read later if you've come this far you are ahead of like I want to say 70% of people, but I think it's even more than 70%. You are ahead of a ton of people that are looking for hacks. They are looking for quick money. They are looking for that immediate, unsustainable gain. This is sustainable. This is scalable. This is huge for you. Thank you for staying with me for this long and if you come this far into the video comment comment leather skin is burning comment leather skin is burning because it's burning it's burning i'm on fire now and i want you to be on fire too bye